Hello and welcome to SGS Overlord. This tutorial aims to teach you about the UI of the game here. As you can see at the bottom left, we do have our cards. We'll usually start with the bottom left to make things easier. As you can see, we do have a number of cards. These currently cannot be played at this moment in time, but they will be able to be played in later phases. You can take a look and click on them by left-clicking. You're about to take a closer look. This is coming quite handy. Over here, you can see cards have already been played. To the top left, we do have the main menu. You can go ahead and take a look at that at any time. And hovering over the flags over here, you can see that we have the axis. You can see the victory points allocated to them being 69, and currently seven cards, of which we have in the bottom left, as we've already taken a look at. You can see the number of units available to the side. And if we hover over here on the allies, you can see that uh, we have much the same. 13 victory points to the allies so far, two cards available to them, and a number of forces available to them on the map currently. Moving to the center of the screen, you can see that we have the card draw. And this is essentially showing us which phase of the game that we are currently in. Now, this will obviously change to represent the phase that we will begin. Currently, we're in card draw, which is why you see card draw. As you move through the game, you'll see the different phases, and you'll always know where you are. And it is quite important as you plan for what you're going to be pulling off in your operations there. You can see that we have a tension index over here. This represents the allied pressure percentage. Essentially, once this reaches 100%, then the Axis is forced to vacate France rather speedily. As you can see over here, we do have the actual date, as well as the turn counter, and if you click on the arrow here, you can take a little events that are taking place within the actual game itself. You can see that we have the next phase, and this would move us from the current phase into the next one. And then finally down here on the right, you can see that we do have the minimize maximize button, as well as the inspector. This allows you to take a look at any aspect of the game, so you can take a look at units and regions as well as structures. We are able to center our view over the map over here by pressing this button. And we can take a look at the control filter here. This is essentially just to show which is Axis and which is Allied. We are able to take a look at the supplies. This is a little bit easier to see with the contrast and colors on here, so do bear that in mind. And finally, we do have stacking. Now, this is currently air stacking value. And if we take a look at land stacking value, you'll be able to find that here too. Uh, do bear in mind that this is a developmental build of the game, so some things may be subject to change, but things should be fairly final. And thank you, and enjoy SGS Overlord.